Hey, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the Stock Hustle channel with your boy William. Coming back with another video for today, Sunday, September 19th. And today's video is going to be a little different from most. It's going to be a really quick video. Just stumbled upon a play that I'm potentially going to be playing tomorrow morning, first thing. Uh, or if not, some point tomorrow during the middle of the day, if I see this stock take a major dip uh, into oversold, uh, I will be a player for this for the October 15th strike date. And I'm going to tell you why. So as you guys can see, this is a ticker BYND, Beyond Meat, right? And if you look at it, the last five days, nothing really special about it. You did have this massive dip here on Thursday. Uh, that was a good buying opportunity. You would have made some pretty good cheddar, actually. You would have made about, uh, what is that, $8 a share had you bought in, uh, which if you would have bought an option, I mean, that would have even been better, to be honest, right? Especially short-term plays uh, for a quick flip. But I did find something interesting in the chart that I did want to talk about. So for this, we're going to go out to the one year, one day chart. And I'm actually going to extend it uh, further because I want to show this pattern that I stumbled on. So for this, we're going to do three years, one day, one year, or three days, one day chart. So essentially, this is uh, each candle on the chart represents or signifies one single day. I'm going to go out two years and I wanted you to see something that I saw, see what you guys think. Plus, we're going to use my favorite tool, Unusual Whales, to solidify my conviction as to why I'm feeling this. As I stated in yesterday's video, anytime I'm hunting for trends, I, I go into Henki Ashi because it makes the patterns that much more visible. So, taking a quick look, downtrends, uptrends, uptrends, downtrends, almost perfect triangles forming. If you actually want to see the perfect triangles, you go to the three year one week chart and then these become even more clearly visible. So look at the last two year history and this is what I found found to be interesting. You have two perfectly formed triangles, three, four, five, but check the dates. So this lines up for February 17th. If we go over here, February 15th, let's start this one. Uh, this one, June 22nd, July or June 28th, literally almost seven days apart, perfectly formed pattern triangles on the chart. So if we're basing it on that, you check this, that says October the 12th. Well, I just told you from the start of this video for October 15th. So this is the first thing that I stumbled upon and I actually found this through the Discord. Um, I'm part of the U Unusual Wells Discord. Sometimes people talk in there. So, you know, when people bring things up, you gotta go check it out, right? So doing my own research, I stumbled upon this play. But then I also obviously went and checked the flow and you see a lot of mix puts calls but you see these string of calls uh, $112 is when they purchased it at on the 17th Friday for the 120 strike 120 strike 115 strike 100 strike right almost in unison check it out 120 113 120 120 and we're not talking about pennies here uh, 431,000, 51,000, 148,000, 302,000. As you can see, they're, they're pretty substantial amounts. I have it pre-filled or preset to 50,000 plus premium. So that obviously sparked my intention as well. But then I went to go check the charts. Uh, excuse me, hold on. And I found something even more interesting that gave me even more conviction. Obviously, as you can see, the open interest is the pink line. That's been climbing. Uh, the call strike or the call purchases or excuse me, the price has been has an increase towards the end now, as you see, going in the last two weeks. Calls, they have a massive spike. Puts do too, but that's irrelevant because we can still use this to our advantage. When we go in here and start checking for amounts, this is now dividing it by premiums, what, they're, what strikes are being played or what amounts. Obviously, you can see the 120 for the October 15th for th anything under a thousand or the November. You go down a little further. Now this is for 10 or 5,000, then 15,000. But what I'm interested in is the big whales, anything 30,000 plus. Here we go. So you have October 15th strike day being heavily played as you see the spike in the chart. And then you go check out the premium $100 strike is what they're playing. And as you see, $81.96 million are being put onto this specific strike. So once I had all these things lined up, it gave me perfect conviction to go ahead and pull the trigger. So when I'm looking at the options specifically, uh, we'll go into the October 15th. I would be a player anywhere from the 100 strike uh, all the way up to the 120, which more than likely I'll probably end up being safe and going 5% down probably with the 115 strike. Me personally, 
Again, this is not financial advice, it's financial education. I'm just trying to teach you guys what I see in charts that gives me conviction when I invest in plays. But obviously, I could not resist um, this play once I saw the specific chart, uh, especially when you see those perfectly formed triangles. What happened with my chart over here? <clears throat> so like I said, perfectly formed triangles in cycle, almost date to date apart, literally within seven days from each other, each of which each one of these triangles has formed. Again, uh, don't take my word for it. Please pull the chart. Please go verify what you see is what I see. And it, obviously, if you feel that this would be a good potential play, I mean, for me, uh, making $46 for every single dollar uh, beyond me goes up to me is a perfectly smart, educated play. Obviously, with options, you always want to remember you don't hold these to the entirety of the contract. The second you are up and you are comfortable with what you've made, please sell them. Do not hold them because sometimes um, you can hold them extensively too long. But again, from looking at the chart, it looks like when the run up does start, you'll have essentially one, two, three, four, five, about five weeks to hold uh, in order before you dump them if it follows the same cycle and the same pattern in the chart. But again, I think you guys get the point. Uh, I'll leave it at that for today. Please like and subscribe to the channel as it does help with the channel's growth. As always, if you have questions, leave them down in the comments below or you can always hit me up on Twitter and IG. Uh, other than that, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.